Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. Today I have my sunscreen roundup. I've actually narrowed down probably 20 sunscreens that I've been testing for the last couple months down to my recommendations for all mineral. I have all chemical, I have some hybrid, and then I also have some products that I have found to be great for reapplication throughout the day. I'm gonna go through all of these. I have some budget friendly that I think are fantastic, and then I have some high end. And I am also collaborating with my friend Melanie from the channel, Mr. Kong's mom. We decided to collaborate on this particular video because she has oily skin, I have dry skin, and we thought that it would just bring you more options because I know that there are plenty of you out there who have different skin than I do. You have, you know, acne prone, oily combination. She may have some great recommendations for you. She also has a really fantastic channel, you guys. She does home fragrance roundups. She does lots of tutorials and lots and lots of skincare videos. So I think you'll love her anyway, but in this particular collaboration, I think it's great because it's going to cover everyone. So I want to get right into it. And I do hope if you're new, you will subscribe. Okay. We're going to start with the chemical sunscreens. I'm just going to share a few and they are great. The first one is by Purito. This is their Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. This one is unscented. It is essential oil free and it also contains niacinamide and Centella Asiatica. Now this is a fantastic find. It is budget friendly and it plays extremely well under makeup. Now it's all chemical, like I said, which means that the filters that are in there are going to absorb as well as block the UVA rays, okay? Leaves very little, if any, cast on your skin. I think it's great actually, probably for all skin types. It really just melts into your skin. I love the fact that it contains niacinamide. Niacinamide is vitamin B3. That's gonna help with your skin barrier. It's gonna help with your pores. It's great for pigment inhibiting. It is a wonderful little gem. Now, Centella is also known as Gota Cola, and that is wound healing and helps to promote collagen production. So this is kind of a hybrid of sun care meets skin care. The other thing that's important to know about this one and another of these sunscreens is that it has a couple chemical filters in there that are not normally seen in the United States and they do a much better job. They're better at actually protecting us from the UV rays as well as they are more stable. So this one is an excellent budget friendly find and I love it. So you can see, I mean, there's really nothing left there. It's not overly hydrating and it's not drying. So this is the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun, SPF 50. Next one, we're gonna stay kind of along those same lines and that is by Can Make. Now this one is called their Mermaid Skin Gel, Mermaid Skin Gel UV. This one is kind of similar in that it also has those uh, chemical filters that do a much better job than our typical avobenzone. So this is all chemical again. This one, you guys, is a gel cream that is the lightest weight of all of these. It's amazing. It literally disappears into your skin. I think all, all skin types could wear this one. I mean, it is not overly hydrating and it is not drying and it plays extremely well under makeup. It's actually the one that I'm wearing today. It's an SPF of 50 and I happen to like, if I'm going to wear a chemical sunscreen, I love the fact that it has those sun filters in there that happen to last a, bit, a little bit longer when I am in the sun and that do a better job of blocking those UVA rays because those are the ones that are aging and that are gonna cause skin cancer. So if you are okay with chemical sunscreens, I highly recommend one of these and they are both extremely budget friendly. Something you should know about the Can Make is that it is 40 grams. I mean, you can see it's pretty small. So while it's budget friendly, I wanna say it's 12 or $13, it's littler but it's an excellent sunscreen. It was recommended to me by my friend Mira in my private Facebook group, and she is so right. It is so, so good, and so many people in the group who have picked this one up agree and love it, so it's a, it's a strong recommendation from me. Okay, next up we have one from La Roche-Posay. This is their serum. 
AOX serum. It's an SPF of 50. This one has antioxidants in it. It has something called skull cap in there, which is a really good antioxidant. It's an SPF of 50 and it is kind of a serum like texture. This one is great if you are normal to dry because it definitely gives some hydration. Then you get that extra antioxidant protection. I find that it leaves no cast whatsoever, but it does leave behind kind of dewy skin, really hydrated and prepped for makeup. And like I said, it is an antioxidant. Definitely this one is a skincare meets sun care product. The only thing about this one that is super important to note is that it contains oxybenzone and oxybenzone is a controversial sun filter for sure. So if that is an ingredient that you are not interested in having in your sun care, I totally get it. The deal with oxybenzone is that they find it can actually cross over and can get into your bloodstream. So you need to know that about this one. I rotate through my sunscreens so much and I pick one depending on, you know, what makeup I'm going to wear and all of that sort of thing that this one is still in my arsenal, but I definitely think the oxybenzone is worth noting and worth knowing about. Okay. We are going to move on to a hybrid and that is the dermatology. This one is a favorite. It's a top two. It's, it's right up there. It's tied with one other that you're going to hear about in a minute. And this one is actually zinc oxide, 12% and oxen octanoxate 7.5. I love this one. I have talked about this one a ton. I think that it is a straight up dupe for the Elta MD UV clear only it's about half the price. You get 1.7. No, no, no. You get two ounces and I think it's $21 on the dermatology website, but I have a code with them where you get 20% off. So it takes it down into like 16 or $17. It's just an incredible value. You get a pump. This one is a universal tint. Now I've heard people say that they didn't like a, a dermatology sunscreen. What I want you to know is that there are a few different types from dermatology. The one that I highly recommended is the tinted moisturizer SPF 46 universal tint because they are very different. The different sunscreens are very different. This is the one that I love and the only one as of now that I really, really love from dermatology. So it is the tinted moisturizer SPF 46. Now the tint to me is pretty neutral. And it is so sheer that really, if you're a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, absolutely you could wear this. It leaves no cast behind, soaks into the skin, and honestly, it kind of leaves your skin primed. So if you wear makeup, I find this to be beautiful right before foundation, kind of smooths out the skin and gives it kind of a glassy appearance. This is a big, big affordable favorite. Now we're gonna move into mineral. This is one of those products that I love and I probably shouldn't. And I'm going to explain this one. Actually, I ordered it. I ordered it before I even looked at the ingredients, which is kind of bizarre, honestly, but I did because um, it was on recommendation and I used it the first time. And then I looked at the ingredients. It has alcohol in it and it also has fragrance. Normally that would absolutely not be on my recommendation list, but I had already put it on my skin and I loved it. I loved the way it looked. I loved the way my makeup looked. I thought that the texture of it was incredible. So again, it is one of those that you have to make the decision. If you do not want fragrance in your sun care, understandable. If you absolutely don't want alcohol in your sun care, again, understandable. I have dry dehydrated skin. It hasn't bothered my skin at all. And the fragrance is nearly imperceptible. I wish they'd just take it out obviously, but it's beautiful. Now it comes in tinted and non tinted. I have them both. So this is the tinted. I find the tinted to be kind of a medium tone. It has more coverage than the dermatology, but it is not like a, it's certainly not any kind of a full coverage you know, foundation or anything, but I think there are a lot of you who could get away with it as a foundation. But again, it's probably like an NC 23, somewhere in that range. As far as the depth of it, this is the untinted. Now these are actually designed to be an interestingly enough, they are also designed to be skincare and sun care. So yes, there's alcohol and yes, there's fragrance, but there is also antioxidants in here and other really good ingredients. And you do get 3.4 ounces. So it's pretty large. And I really like the packaging. I love 
that, and I've been using it for a while, and you know how sometimes this gets really messy? These don't seem to be like that. This cap, it it's secure so you're not you know winding up with stuff all over which i really appreciate last year i reviewed tizo which is still a favorite of mine that was my big complaint every time you opened it there was just sunscreen everywhere i can't stand that but they've gotten it right with this one next is going to be an all mineral sunscreen that is absolutely a favorite this is top two sunscreens right up there with my dermatology that is my cerave now this is an spf of 30 it is a sheer tint all mineral it is titanium dioxide 5.5 and zinc oxide 10. Now this one to me, people ask me to compare this to the dermatology, which I will, I'll show you them right next to each other. This one is far more hydrating and thicker and more coverage than the dermatology. The tone is actually kind of similar if you look. So that's the dermatology here and that's the CeraVe there. So they're very similar in tone. Neither one of them leaves any white whatsoever. What's kind of nice about this tint is that actually if you're a little bit darker than this, it's okay because the tint in there just eliminates any white cast potential. Now, the CeraVe is definitely, like I said, more coverage. You could almost get away with the CeraVe as a foundation. So you get 1.7 ounces. I wanna say it's, it's under $15 hydrating it has ceramides in it and again it has niacinamide so it is another one that is kind of sun care meets skin care and man the finish is absolutely gorgeous i definitely this is one that is holy grail status one of my favorite things that that cerave's ever come out with probably the best thing that they've ever come out with so this is a really really good one next we're going to talk about a reapplication product that is awesome. This was recommended to me by another friend. You guys are amazing. This is how I find half the stuff. My friend Michelle actually sent me a message about this and it is the Kula. This is called the Refreshing Water Mist Sunscreen Full 360 Alcohol-Free Anti-Pollution UVA UVB Broad Spectrum SPF of 18. This uses aloe. It is gorgeous. This one to me is definitely for normal, maybe normal to combo, and I don't think oily. I don't think, I think this is too much for oily. It is amazing. If you are a dry skinned person and you are looking for something to top off your sunscreen during the day, awesome. I mean, it is really, really good. I, I use this all the time now. I bought three bottles, you guys, on her recommendation because she was like, holy cow, it's so good. It is so good. Now it's only an SPF of 18 and again, it's a spray. So it's not like you're, you know, putting on a bunch more SPF 50 or something like that. But to me, so many of us know that we're supposed to be doing reapplication, but we don't know how, or it's just too inconvenient. We're not going to do it. So to me, something is better than nothing. And this is one of those things. It's just lovely. It has a really beautiful spray really really nice and fine mist i hope i didn't just get that on the camera but it does have a scent i don't think it has fragrance i think it is vanilla that they have in there like an actual actual vanilla which of course that's something to be aware of of course but i'm really really liking this i have tried in the past you know the kate somerville i've tried the super goop and none of those worked out for me they were kind of sticky and tacky this is not like that this does take when you put it on you have to give i'm probably i'm still real you can see it you have to give your skin five minutes or something and then it kind of because it's hydrating it's really really hydrating which brings me to this guy this is from arcona probably see these all the time, various types of brush on sunscreen. This is a fantastic way to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day. I happen to like this one from Arcona. But basically you pump it and you can reapply to your whole face. Well, as a dry skinned person, I like to do that because of the sun protection, but then I feel like I'm too powdered. So what I've been doing is I've actually been putting this on and then I quickly give just a little bit of this mist, all sun protection. That's how I've been reapplying. That's what I've been doing. And I'm finding that this takes down the powder, but it adds more sun protection. It's like a really great little um, hack for reapplication. I probably do it once a day. I mean, I'm not replying every two hours. I'm just not, but I do try, especially when we get to the middle of the day and the sun is at its peak and I'm going to run out and run somewhere. Then I reapply, especially because a lot of us put our sunscreen on at seven o'clock in the morning. You go to run an errand at two, 
you know, you're barely protected. So it's a great idea just to get a little bit of, you know, reapplication in the mix. And the last thing that I want to talk to you about is I've talked about this one. I'm sure last year I've talked about it many times, but it is the color science three in one total eye. This is SPF of 35, all mineral made to go around your eyes. Now it is a peachy tone, which helps with, um, color correction. It's such a lovely product, you guys. And what I do like about it is I will wear it as a color corrector, but it's wonderful reapplied throughout the day. And somewhere where I get a lot of hyperpigmentation is underneath my eyes. That's part of why I look like I have such bad dark circles is hyperpigmentation. So it's super important to me personally to really protect that area. Now, this is one that I actually do reapply probably every three hours. I just sit and it feels really good. I put it on, it brightens up my under eye, makes a huge difference to the way that your face looks. It really, you know, brightens that area. And then I know I'm getting that SPF 35 and it does not bother my eyes even a little bit. I put it like kind of here and I move it up and it's all mineral. It no eye irritation whatsoever. And aesthetically it is beautiful. And these little tubes literally last like one last, certainly lasts an entire season from early spring to, you know, fall. They, they last forever cause you don't use a lot. Okay. I'm going to do a whole nother video that is about sun protection in foundation or hybrid sun protection foundation. Um, because I have, you know, the Ilia, I have the revision, I have several that are really beautiful that could be considered kind of foundation. This video would get way too long. You guys, that is my sunscreen roundup. I actually have been testing a bunch more. I'll probably do a follow-up video to this once I get a chance to test even more of these, but I didn't have enough time to really formulate a good enough opinion on all of them. So be looking for a follow-up video if you're interested in, you know, more sunscreens. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope that you will check out Melanie's video. I'm definitely going to go watch that now myself, and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.